All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, start this up and drive it, basically. So, just first a couple things to show you. This is basically gears. You've got neutral, reverse, forward. And then the further forward you push this, the faster forward it goes. To start it, that has to be in neutral. Over here, this is the blade height. I normally only ever cut it at four or three. To start it, it has to be raised all the way up to six. Let me clear these spider webs off. I love to make the webs on the lawn mowers. That switch right there turns the blade on or off. The arrow, you know, indicates the blade rotating. So up here, the blade is on. Down here, the blade is off. Blade has to be off for startup. That's the choke. When you're having trouble starting it up, you should push it all the way up when you turn the key and then bring it back to about right here. That's the brake pedal. You know, you push it forward with your foot to brake. When you push it all the way forward, you can pull this up right here, then let go with the foot. That stays, that's the parking brake. You need to either have the parking brake on or your foot on the brake to start it. Then, with the parking brake on, the mower in neutral, blade raised all the way up and turned off, then you can stick the key in and start it up. Once it's started, push that forward, take the brake off, it'll drive forward, you know, steering wheel's pretty obvious. When you're ready to cut, lower this down to your desired height, flip that on, it'll start cutting. If you try to go into reverse with the blades on, the engine will die. You have to turn the blades off to reverse. You can't go backwards. If you try to get off of the lawnmower with the blade on, the engine will die. So if you need to stop the lawnmower to get off to move something out of your way real quick, turn the blades off, put the parking brake on, then hop off and move the thing out of your path. And that's it. Other than that, the lawnmower is really easy to drive.